Okay, no, that's way too dark. What's that? Yeah, that's good enough. Hello, everybody. Welcome to an unboxing video. That I know this is random, but it's just that. I just decided to do this for, for some reason. Wait, it's what they were gonna be. We're gonna be unboxing Claire and Stegosaurus Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy thing. <laughs> cool. We got Owen. Owen again. I forgot his name. <laughs> and we got a Stego, a monitor thing, and Claire. Okay, so wait, before we get to the unboxing, I'd like to show you something. I got three new figures. I mean, all three of them are by Sledge, by the way. Okay, the first one we're gonna review. Now, the first one we're gonna review is <laughs> a deer, a male deer. I'm mean, gonna. You know, I would show you underneath, but I'd rather not get demonetized. I mean, don't wait. No, no, I'm not monetized yet. <laughs> anyway, there's that. Next figure is. A juvenile Allosaurus. It doesn't balance well on the carpet. But yeah. Sledge makes terrible figures, but you have to say but you gotta admit the detail is actually quite good. Yep, Juvie Juvenile Allosaurus, there we go. And this one is one I'm actually excited for. Cause this one will be demon in Dinosaur Island. As long as it doesn't get chewed up, that is. Yep, we have Slight Carnotaurus, which I was thinking about, you know, like like changing like the horns, and you know, like having them go like that. Go out like that. Like a hypocarnos. Also like the arms as well. I get the change of them. And also have like giant spikes at the end of the tail. So yeah. But there's one thing I have a problem about this figure. First of all, the head. It looks fat. It's fat. Second problem. Really, Slight? You could have made Carnotaurus' jaws open up wider. Anyways, there's those. Now on to this. That was unexpected. <laughs> Yeah, you can keep the box art. Let's see. First. Look at the name. Oh, yeah, it does say that. I know. So, yeah. Okay, so the first figure we're gonna see is Claire. Yeah, I mean, nobody really cares about the humans, but to be honest, at least they're fully posable. She's fully posable. The legs are. The feet aren't. And we have this thing, which. No idea on what it is. Calling my phone is terrible. And now, onto the Stego. It's. I have another one of these. Except, well, it's not colored, but. This one, actually, actually, this one actually looks like one of the Stegosaurus toys that actually, like, it has, like, the same, it's literally, like, the same thing, except, well, the mold is different. It's the exact same thing. The mold is different, though. The plates were black, same with the top, and the rest of it was green. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Also, 
ratings. Which one are you guys excited to see in Dinosaur Island when I hit, you know, um, like 1,000 subs? Actually, maybe even like 100 subs, actually. One, one more thing. You'll be seeing that as a little Easter egg in Dinosaur Island. It's like a tour vehicle, but anyways. Which one of these figures do you guys want to see the most appear? Because Carnotaur Demon might be, I don't know, but whatever. So, um, yeah, place your votes now. Which one would you like to see? One of these will be the first creatures to appear on the first episode of Dinosaur Island when I, when I reach 100 subs. So, um, yeah. Now, it's already been quiet, but whatever. Is this gonna be a nice video? And yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed for <laughs> oh, for Carpy gotta be kidding me. No You bass You big mouth bass. No. Okay, whatever. I'm not putting Claire in. I mean, she's not even gonna appear in Dinosaur Island, whatever. So, um, yeah. Which one of these creatures would you like to see appear in the first episode? I am really looking forward to Garnet's Horus to be the first one. So, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, stay fresh.